And joining me right now is Ohio Congressman, House Judiciary Committee member, and Freedom Caucus member Jim Jordan. Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks so good much for joining you. me. You, you and Congressman Mark Meadows published an op-ed for Fox News uh, this morning titled "Build the Wall, Do What We Said We Do," and yep. it reads in part: Democrats do not want to bring attention to their extremist positions on immigration. They are for open borders and abolishing immigration and customs enforcement. Securing the border is not going to happen in a Pelosi-run Congress. We still have three weeks. That's more than enough time to do yeah. what we said. And my question, Congressman, is can the president get this funding with Republicans? Because it's not just the Democrats who are pushing back on yeah, this. Rep the Republicans refuse to get behind the president's request. And this no. has been going on for a year, Congressman. Yeah, no, there are, there are Republican votes for this. The problem is Chuck Schumer in the Senate and the 60-vote rule they have over there, which is ridiculous. So there are Republican votes to build the border security wall and deal with the asylum law changes that we have to have to address the caravan issue. That's the position the Freedom Caucus has taken. More importantly, that's the position of the American people and, frankly, what we were elected to do in 2016. So this is common sense. Five billion for the wall. Change the asylum law so we can deal with this caravan issue, this catch and release issue. Uh, let's do those things. They're good common sense. Let's get him done. The problem is Chuck Schumer, and he talks a lot about a shutdown, Maria. Remember, there's been one shutdown this year, and guess who did it? Chuck Schumer on a short-term spending bill back in February when he shut the government down over the weekend, and he said amnesty was more important than funding the troops and funding the government. So if you're going to talk about shutdown, the only one who's done that thus far is Chuck Schumer. So let's just do what we said and get the thing done. Yeah. Uh, that, that's where the American people are. I agree. Uh, no, no, you're right about that. So what happens today when Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer say to the president, look, all we have is $1.3 billion, and that's it. And we don't want DACA attached to this. We don't want anything else. And, I mean, look, Nancy Pelosi is trying to get her speaker uh, votes in order, right? And that's not right. happening until January. So why is she going to vote? Why is she going to do anything? She doesn't want to rock the boat before she gets the speakership, right? Yeah, I think we just, uh, again, just do what we said. Put the five billion on the must-pass spending bill. Put the asylum reform language on there, and go have the debate with the American people. And say, if Chuck Schumer doesn't want to support this, if he really wants a shutdown, if the Democrats really don't want to do these common sense things, that's on them. Let, after all, <clears throat> excuse me, after all, they're the only ones who shut the government down. This, I think you just got to have the debate, and frankly, not be afraid of having the debate. Let's actually have it. Let's say, here are the two positions, American people. You decide. And you think the Republicans will be there? I, I do, and I hope so. Uh, mm. I think I know the president's there. I know the yeah. Freedom Caucus is there. I hope we'll stand firm on that position. Now, the Freedom Caucus is calling for two amendments to the funding bill, including funding yeah. for the border wall and ending catch and release policies. Tell right. us about this, because most people don't understand when an illegal comes here and, and, and the, the U.S. catches them, they have to release them and then get a court date in the calendar, and they yeah. may or may not show up. So then they're in the country illegally, probably taking others' jobs and creating a, a lot of expense for the U.S. Yeah, and it's even worse than that. DHS and ICE will tell you that 85 percent of the individuals who show up at the border and actually claim asylum, 85 percent of them aren't legitimate asylum seekers. So that's why we need more judges on the border. We need to deal with the issue right away, not let them come to the country, get in the country, release them, and then they never show up for their hearing. So let's have the hearing right away. In fact, the president is working on this. He's working on making sure they stay in Mexico before they come in the country. And you can actually adjudicate and figure out everything then, have the hearing then before they come in. If they're legitimate, they're running and fleeing something that, that's, that's serious, then un understandably so, we want to let them in the country. But we want to be able to vet them, check them out. Again, that is just good common sense. And it's so contrary to where the Democrats are. Remember mm -hmm. in 2016, the leader of their party said she wanted a borderless hemisphere. Yeah. They're the ones who've said they want to abolish ICE. So those are the two choices. It seems to us our position is pretty darn common sense. Let's do the common sense thing and let's stand firm for it. Actually, I think our voters appreciate that. The American people appreciate that when you stand firm and do the right oh, thing. Oh, I agree with that. 